Hello everybody, Kelly here, and today we are doing a DIY. I know I haven't done one of these since three videos, I think. But um, it's like it's been two weeks since I actually recorded one. But um, so today we are doing a flower thing. It's with like little plastic flowers and stuff, and you make little plastic clips, as you can see, little plastic hair clips, um, plastic flower hair clips. Um, we are also going to make little plastic flower pins, and last but not least, little plastic flower magnets. So yeah, let's get started. First off, I'm using a big bag of plastic flowers, and I got these at a garage sale for only 25 cents. Um, you can buy these separately, or you can just look for one that has a bag of mix. Um, these all have very beautiful flowers in them. I'm also using scissors, little um, metal, metal hair clips, I'm also using a magnet roll, this is a big strip of magnet sticking on the side but this is, doesn't have any more stick. Um, you can find those out at Michael's and stuff. I'm also using little metal pins that I have for a while now. But last but not least the most important thing is going to be your glue gun and drink. But yeah, have your I set my glue gun on high so it melts quicker oh, so it gets out so it doesn't melt on top of each other if you have to like play with you. So yeah, let's get started. First we're gonna do the hair clips. I have my hair clip right here. There's some glue on it, but I just tried to pick out as much as I could. And then I just chose some leaves and some a flower out. Um, make sure to incorporate leaves because not many people realize how important leaves are when you're like making something with flowers. I'm gonna put some glue right next to the old glue, and I'm gonna put my glue gun back. And I'm gonna put this down on top of the glue. It will be really hot, so watch your fingers. If you are under the age of 10, have a 10 or you know, whatever. If you're under the age of 10, can you have your parents watch it? How my parents trust me with this? So, yeah. Now, since I have two little pairs of leaves, I'm gonna put another glue. Leaves right there. Ow, ow, hot, very, very hot. I burned my finger earlier on making some leaves. That's why you have to have your hair at hand because hot glue guns are very dangerous. Last but not least, I'm gonna put my flower. First, I'm gonna push this down a little bit. It will be still a little hot well, for me because, you know. Um, I'm gonna put another glue gun, another glue drop. I drip a little bit. Put that up with the flower. I'm gonna place the flower on top. Watch our discuss. Okay, so making sure it's sitting up straight. And then you're gonna wait a little bit for the glue to dry. And there you have the finished product of the flower clip. Now we're going to go on to the flower pin. Here's my pin. So what I've been doing to help me keep the pin in place while I do it, is I'm gonna stick the pin, the pointy part of the pin, into the um, intro cloth. So I'm going to put my pointy part in to the cloth, and let the other part just sit right there with white glue and the stuff on it. I've decided I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna put this little flower on it because I thought it was so adorable. So before we do anything, we're gonna clip that little edge off of the flower. Three, two, one. So we're gonna put another dot of glue on the pin. Very, very tiny because it does 
not need much. And if, if you put too much on, it'll drip down. Yeah, just wait for that one little drop to, da to um, dry, not dry, dry. <laughs> Once it's all dry, you have your finished little flower product. Last but not least, we're going to make the magnet one. So first we're going to cut out a little piece from here. I'm going to make mine an extra size magnet, so I'm going to cut out two rectangle pieces and glue them together. I didn't change my mind, I'm just going to do another one. So I found this really cute tiny flower, um, well big flower in my thing, that's why I wanted to do a blue one. Now I'm, first before I glue it down, I'm going to place it in the middle and then look from the bird's eye to see if there's any black showing. And if there is, I'm going to cut those off so I can just see the flower. There we go. That's better. Oh, it's nicer. So now let's get to the gluing part. This time before we glue anything, we're going to cut that little knob off. Now with this, we're going to glue, put a little drop of glue right here so it keeps all the flower, the stem, and the little outside part together. I suggest to hold the petals down when you put the glue on. Now we're going to put a little drop of glue. <laughs> I'd rather just came in. A little drop of glue right here. Oh, did you see that steam? That was crazy. So we're going to take the flower now. I'm going to put blue glue. So I have one. There we go. So I'm going to let it dry and then I might uh, clip off any magnet that's showing. This is kind of a small version of the flower that I use for the pen. Look inside. So yeah, wait for that to dry, and then I'll show you the finished product. Here, the glue is all dried, and you have your little flower magnet. There's a pretty little magnet. I'm gonna cut off the corners right here so it doesn't show. There we go. That's pretty. I'm gonna keep it right there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have fun with decorating and making all these things. And there's another note I want to give you. You can you you can replace the flowers and leaves for perler bead creations. Yeah, that's right. You can glue perler bead creations to little metal things and clips and magnets and stuff like that. But I just decided to um, use flowers because I got so many here. It's only 25 cents. So yeah, thought it was a great deal. So I hope you have a fun time making these clips, these pins, and these magnets. Meganets. That sounds weird to say. Meganets. So yeah, subscribe to my channel for more DIYs, Kelly Talks, Minecraft gameplay, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, like this video if you want me to do more DIYs, and leave a comment down below what I should do for the next DIY. I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye! Now I'm going to show you a little, um, little slideshow almost of all the little creations that I made out of plastic flowers. So let's get moving. First off with the hair clips.